mucosa. Oral mucosa is the mucous membrane lining the inside of the mouth. Complies stratified squamous epithelia, termed as oral epithelia. Then the lining connective tissue, termed as lamina propria. The oral cavity has sometimes been described as a mirror that reflects the health of the individual. Functions of the oral mucosa First, protection. Second, sensation. Third, secretion. And the fourth, thermal regulation. The basic classification of the oral mucosa composed of three types. First, the masticatory mucosa, including the gingiva and the heart palate. Second, the lining mucosa, including lip, cheek, vestibule, alveolar mucosa, floor of the mouth, and soft palate. Third, the specialized mucosa, including the dorsum of the tongue and the taste bud. The structure of the oral mucosa resembles skin. It's composed of two portions. First is the epithelia, which is concerned the oral epithelia, and the second is the connective tissue underlining the epithelia is called the lamina propria. Oral epithelia is stratified squamous epithelia. It is either keratinized or non-keratinized. If it is keratinized oral epithelia, there it will be consist of three or four layers, including citratum basali, citratum spinosum, citratum granulosum, and citratum corneum. I take their name from their morphological appearance. First layer is the basal cell layer. It's made of cell that synthesizes the DNA cell and undergo mitosis for all the time, providing the new cell. Second layer is called citratum spinosum, other term brickle cell layer, composed of irregular polyhedral cell, about 20 to 25 layers, and it is larger than the basal cell layer, cell. Other cell, stratum granulosum. It is a flatter and wider cell. These cells are larger than stratum spinosum. Its name as stratum granulosum because it is containing granules that it possesses basophilic keratohyline. Stratum corneum is made of keratinized sequamy with a larger and flatter cell non citratum granulosum. Nuclei and the organelles of this cell are disappeared. Parakeratinized oral epithelia it is similar to keratinized epithelia in its layers except that the granular layer may be absent or not evident. Second, the citratum corneum surface of the layer will be retained for the nuclei that are pycnotic and condensed. Other term is the orthokeratinized, similar to the keratinized in its layer, except that the citratum corneum surface layer will not retain nuclei. The non-keratinized epithelia have no cornified layer. Therefore, it's composed of three layers. First, basal cell layer. Second, citratum intermedium. Third, citratum superficial. We have other cells, which is non-keratinocyte cells, and include melanocyte cell, 
Merkel cell, Langerhans cell, and lymphocyte and polymorphonuclear leukocyte cell. For the melanocyte cell, it's found in the basal cell layer. It's origin from the neural crest cell. It's function to store the melanin in the form of the melanosome. And there is responsible for the pigmentation of the oral mucosa. Second cell, the Merck cell, found in the basal cell layer, is origin from the neural crest cell. Its function is a specialized neural cell, has a pressure sensitive receptor. Langerhans cell found in the upper layers of the stratum intermedium and in the zone of the orthokeratinized it is present in the stratum granulosa. Its origin from the hemopoietic tissue, like from the bone marrow. Its function is involved in immune response. Lymphocyte and polymorphonuclear leukocyte cell is origin from the hemopoietic stem cell found in every type of the epithelia and in any layer of epithelia. Its function it is, is associated with the inflammatory response. As we say that the mucous membrane composed of the two layer, first layer is the epithelia or oral epithelia, second is the lamina propria. Lamina propria is a connective tissue of variable thicknesses that support the epithelia, divided into two portions. First, the papillary part or portion, a second, the reticular portion. Underlining the oral mucosa is the submucosa, consists of a connective tissue of varying th thicknesses and density. It attached the mucosa membrane to the underlying structure. Whether this attachment be loose or firm depends on variety of submucosa. It possesses glands, blood vessels, nerves, and adipose tissue. Hard palate. There are many zones present in the hard palate, including the gingival region, which is adjacent to the teeth, palatine raphi in the median area, anterior lateral area, or what we call fatty zone between the raphi and gingiva, and we have the posterior lateral area of the glandular zone between the raphi and the gingiva. We have this diagram showing the gingival zone and palatine raphi zone, the anterior lateral, the fatty zone, and the posterior lateral, which is the glandular zone. Gingiva. The gingiva extends from the dentogingival junction to the alveolar mucosa subjected to the friction and pressure of mastication. Therefore, the epithelia of the gingiva is a certified sequimous epithelia. Let it be 75% of the population be paracarotenized, 15% will be orthokeratinized, and 10% will be non-keratinized. The surface of the gingiva characterized by the presence of the stippling phenomenon or a stippled appearance. The portion of the, appear, uh, of the epithelia appear elevated and between the elevation there are shallow depression and resulted in stippling. The depression corresponds to the center of the heavier epithelia ridge. These are functional adaptation to mechanical force. The disappearance of the stippling indicated edema and involvement of the gingiva in inflammation, which is called the gingivitis. 
specialized mucosa that occupies the dorsal surface of the tongue. We have the terminal sulcus, which separated the anterior two-thirds of the tongue from the posterior third of the tongue as a V-shaped. On the anterior portion, we found the filiform papillae, which are fine pointed epithelial structure containing of the core of a connective tissue covering by epithelia, which is a keratinized. The filiform papillae do not contain test, but we have other form, which is called the fungiform papillae, which is usually found between the filiform. It is round, reddish in appearance, and it's reddish at the red in color because it's due to rich in capillary network. It contain few test spots, one to three, found on their dorsal surface. Other papillae, which is circumvallate papillae, it form eight to ten valid papillae in front of the V-shaped sulcus between the body and the base of the tongue. The lateral surface of the valid papillae will come, contain numerous of taste pads. The figures show the non-keratinized oral epithelia in human gingiva, which is composed of three layers, basal cell layer, intermediate layer, and superficial layer. Other figures show the parakeratinized of the oral epithelia, which show the keratinized or cornified layer contain or possess the retained nuclei in their surface. The figure show the from the left the parakeratinized and from the right it show the non keratinized epithelia which is composed of three layers as we said before basal cell layer, intermediate cell layer and then the superficial layer and from the left show the figure of keratinized, which form on the basal cell layer, brickle cell or spinosium cell, and then we have a granulosum cell and cornified layer. Cornified layer, it contain or possess the retained nuclei. This figure show the mucogingival junction and it will show the stippling phenomena of the gingiva, which show an elevation and depression in between Other figures show the stippling of the epithelia or stippling phenomena in the gingiva. Show surface of the epithelia with a depression. And the other show elevation. This figure show the circumvallate papillae, which is the 8 to 10 number and contain from its lateral side numerous of test bud. Figure show the filiform papillae as a, a filly projection, pinpoint projection with the orthokeratinized epithelial surface present with anterior two thirds of the tongue with no test bud. Other figures show the filiform and in between the fungiform papillae, which represent the presence of a little of test pad in between. Thanks for your listening.